a server with an interesting undocumented history. From forced large-scale spawn killing to server-wide conflicts, this is the undocumented history of the OG network. April 2021, the YouTuber the Mr. Epic announces the release of the OG network. At first, the server was released with only survival games. Soon after is when the true history begins. On April 25th, 2021, the SMP was first opened. The popularity of the Dream SMP, Hermitcraft, and 2B2T, along with the success of the Mr. Epic, helped the server start off on the right foot, it seemed. Although within the first day, there was hours of downtime due to the unexpected player count. While it ended up getting fixed, this was not the only problems the server would face. Player formed groups were becoming a thing very shortly after the server start. Groups like ARK and UGN were some of the first formed groups. Players were forming ideas of building highways and helping new players for that just to be quickly dismissed due to the chaos of selfish ideals. A rush for the first dragon egg was quickly atop everyone's minds. The Commonwealth is the group that got the very first dragon egg on the server. This group consisted of players the Team Epic, Histero, and a few others who were unnamed. After the first few days of the server being open, players could afford opening their own stalls. Some of the first stalls being owned by Snow Coal, Chromatic Prism, I Am Miku, Dog Steve, who are all still active players to this day. Players from ARK and the Lava Cast Society started griefing the spawn, killing to prevent players from taking their position on the bow top leaderboard. They eventually made their own little hub near spawn, which ended up being a sky base. Among all those players being spawn killed, one particular rose up to fight back. A still active player to this day, Frez, was assassinated by the spawn killers for the bounty on his head. Although Frez was really high status amongst the players on the server, he was quickly able to create his own group and start the first server-wide conflict. Declaring war on Lava Cast Society and Ark, Frez's team set out the group their sky base, eventually succeeding in the fight against them. Shortly after, a new reputation system was added to the server moving forward to prevent players from spawn killing and griefing. The system would give penalties to down repped players and rewards to up rep players. If you had negative reputation, at negative 5 reputation you'd lose access to slash TPA. At negative 10, you'd lose access to slash home, and at negative 15, your coordinates would be shown to everyone on the player list. Although once this was added, previous spawn killers would be bombarded with negative reputation, which prevented them from going home. In return, they would just sit at spawn all day killing. They were forced to since they couldn't go home. This would prevent any new players from making it to player stalls or even into the wilderness. Although thankfully, this feature is no longer implemented into the server. Now on May 30th, 2021, the longest awaited update came out, the official guild update. Guilds can now officially be created. The first major groups were Divinity and LaCroix. Both guilds were powerful and feared, although both were enemies as well. LaCroix was griefed by Divinity and Divinity was killed by LaCroix. Overall, within the first month, LaCroix had more gear and money, although to this day, neither of the guilds won because they are both just a memory as neither guilds are active. Shortly after, the server had an end reset, which prompted another race for the Dragon Egg. Frez recorded this fight due to high player count and chunks being loaded. There was some lag while the war was happening. Ultimately, a player from LaCroix named Glix would torch the egg, allowing Zara Tango to get the egg. July 31st, the OG SMP Guild Wars event started, which lasted one week. First place would receive four top ranks, second would get four rank upgrades, and third would get 75,000 in-game currency to split amongst the guild. The guild with the most kills will win the event. The players killed must be in a guild as well for the kills to count. This event is now known as the worst event in server history due to it having no other rules listed. A large group by the name of Despised took a quick lead. The leader of the group, Demir, who is still a well-known player, was offering players in-game currency to let him kill them. Quickly racking up hundreds of kills, the group was disqualified, thus letting LaCroix take a lead, even greater than Despise's lead. A prominent spawn killer, Pythox, joined LaCroix for this event. LaCroix is against spawn killers at the time, although they thought he would be a good fit for the group. Pythox's goal was similar to Demir's, although Pythox would sit in spawn and kill ungeared players to rack up points. One player in specific named Crazy Man Devo was killed over and over and over by Pythox. LaCroix had a 100 plus kill lead over the other guilds. Although the admins went through the logs and decided to disqualify Pythox and LaCroix from the competition, Pythox, who was already not fully welcomed to LaCroix due to his spawn kill, just got them banned from the first major event that could solidify their names. 
After this event, the player count would dwindle down to 10 to 20 players only, rarely peaking 30 players. In the mid-August 2021, Season 2 was released. This, along with another mention by the Mr. Epic in one of his videos, boosted the player count close to 200 players. Players once again rush for the Dragon Egg and the status of being the guild to have it. Now this time around, LaCroix got the Dragon Egg really easily. It was a few hours before anyone else even set foot in the end. All the fights for the eggs were for a power and status, and there was one player that wanted to have more power and status than anyone else. May 5th, 2022, there was a massive duping scandal. Unfriendly Dragon and Tanker Gear would find a duping exploit by duping netherite blocks, gold blocks, shulkers filled with golden apples, and more. A mod by the name of I Am Miku would catch them duping, although the damage has already been done as they have given away countless items to players around the server. Dragon would go on to make a video saying the coordinates of dupe gear around the world. He also has went on to hint about gear around the world he wants players to randomly find. Claims of chests filled with loot near spawn and other areas have yet to be claimed. Is this one real or is he lying? I guess we'll never know. Today, August 18th, 2023, the server's in a good place has a high average player count, loyal community. Many players along their way have withered into nothingness. The oldest known still active players are OpenGL3, Frez, Dog Steve, and a few others. Although the legacy of other players will still live on, along with the stories. I made this video trying to capture what information is out there before it forever got lost. This was the undocumented history of the OG network, which is now documented.